Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with an unexpected video. I have been super busy all weekend with my fabric frenzy and I feel like doing a little bit of sewing. I've been designing a quilt but I'm not done with that one and I thought what can I do that would be simple that I can start. No pattern needed and I think I have it. You may hear the TV on, my mother's watching the Ten Commandments, which happens to be on tonight. I'll try to talk over Moses. <laughs> I have been cutting a lot of two inch squares and also a lot of 10 inch strips. I do two inch tall strips and three inch. But tonight I thought, how about I combine my two inch strips that are 10 inches wide and my two inch squares and just make a very simple quilt top. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm down to this for batiks other than what I have for like smaller scraps. I have probably a stack this high of just pieces. So I thought I'm going to use some of these and uh, I'm going to be placing an order. I can't wait. And here's the deal. I love these greens. I'm going to need a little more than two yards of the background and then I'm going to need only about a half of a yard for the two inch squares. I'm going to need 152 squares and 152 strips. So obviously the strips are going to take up much more fabric. I think that's probably going to be the size that I want to make. I'm going to use greens. I don't have enough yardage to do just one. That's kind of what I wanted to do, but I think I will mix some greens and see this one has a little spot on it, so I'm going to leave it this way and I can work around that. So what I like about that is it will still look scrappy, but yet it's like all one color. I think it's going to be pretty. I don't know if I'll add this one. I'm going to see how many strips I can get out of these three. And then for my squares, even though I'm not into red and green, I seem to be very into this red and green. It looks oriental or something. And it could, I don't know, look like Christmas, red and green in a different way. I love this pattern so much and it has green in it. So I think my squares will be from this. The other option would have been like something with a lot of purple. I don't have anything left. And then if I want to make a border, look at this awesome green. See, I didn't want to use this in the quilt because I want this to be the red, but I think I would have enough for a narrow border around it with this that has red and green. So let me cut some of my squares and I'm going to show you this incredibly easy quilt block. I wanted to say, those of you who do buy my two inch squares and the two inch strips, you can do this and it doesn't have to be matchy matchy, it can be all scrappy, but I do have a scrap quilt coming out. At some point, as soon as I finish it, I hope that it's my next one that I do. And I'm just having so much fun with all of this, the designing of them. That's the part I really love. This is, you know, doesn't involve designing. We're just going to do the same thing and slap it all together. So I cut just a few. I decided to go with the four greens. Um, I could have also included this one. Maybe I will. It would give me five. This is going to be built in three, no, four long columns. And I don't know if I'm going to want to, you know, keep the colors like in the same order. I don't know that yet, but maybe I would like some of these. And adds just a little bit more to it. I'm gonna cut some of these too. And then I'm gonna take you over to the machine and show you what we're doing. You might have noticed that the TV is off. My mother asked to go to bed, so I helped her to go to bed, and now it's all nice and quiet. I love it so much. Also, this is going to be a very quick video. I just want to get part one up, and because I don't have time to cut all the strips and all the squares tonight, just wanted to get it started, and then I can work on it and 
we'll wrap it up, I would imagine, in just one more episode. I think I'm going to make my colors go from light to dark, and then back to light, and then back to dark. My hand is still moving, but you can't see it <laughs> going this way. Kind of like, like ombre, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. And like I said, it's going to be four long columns. So I just think that will look nice, light to dark. And uh, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a strip. Now I don't have to do this in any particular order, but because I want to put together some of it, I'm just going to, you know, take a light and then, you know, my next one and next one. And where are my little squares? Where are they? Hello? Oh, they're way over here. They were hiding. I don't have to be overly concerned with these particular batiks. They pretty much look the same. I am swapping to my stronger glasses. And I'm just going to put a square at the end of my strip. And I'm going to sew. Am I going to be weirded out about caring? Uh, let's see. We'll go this way. Like that. I'm leaving it right there. And we're going to do the same to the next guy. And the next guy. Okay, I can't I can't be concerned about the batik right or wrong because that would take forever. Next. And the next one. And we would just keep going, but I'm anxious to put some of these strips together, so let's do that. I don't feel like I have room. I'm going to finger press and I'm going to sew it to the next one. I think I'm going to press to the to the square. You know, my little seam is going to the um, back of the square. Now we're going to do this. We're going to sew opposite like that. So a square on this side and a square on this side. So let's send these two through. No intersections at this point to worry about. Now I will send the next two through. Oh yeah, I have to remember now, since I'm going from light to dark, I need my square to be the right way. Okay, so it's going to be on this side and then this way. See, if you're doing scrappy, you can just send all your strips through with a square. The strips don't have to be the same, the squares don't have to be the same, and then you'd just be putting it together by, you know, turning every other one. So I'm assuming I'm doing this the right way. If not, I can uh, pick some stitches. Come on, right there. Here we go. For sure, what I'm going to do is just, you know, do a whole bunch of each color and then I'll just arrange them as I go. Oh, that's going to be so cool. I do think it will be. And I'm going to like that the greens are different. <sighs> oh, did I do it right? Yes, I did. Batik is so good with finger pressing. You don't really have to do much more than that. So I'm going to sew this to a this. That's the way I wanted the shades of green to go. Let me do it this way. And I'm going to sew these two together. I think it's going to be so cool. I can't wait to see the whole quilt top. I've got a little way to go for that. And now let's add this last one like that. Now it doesn't need to be square because we're just making a long column. I like this. I really do. So what I'm thinking, like I said, I know I have enough with these four. If um. You know, if I go like this and then I start to go backwards, I won't need as many of this one because the next one will be this and then the next one will be this and then this and then this and then it'll go back down to that. 
I don't know. I can't figure it out right now in my head space because I'm tired. <laughs> but that's what my plan is. I'm going to just keep going from light to dark and then back to light and back to dark. And I'm going to stop now because uh, I need to do so many things. I shouldn't even be doing this right now, but I just wanted to. And I'm going to cut a bunch of strips. I'm going to sew my ass off. And I will be back with the next video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.